After a long time of trying to forget everything about Anakin Skywalker and basically burying him deep inside, the 2015 Darth Vader comic series is basically a revamp. Darth Vader goes step by step into his past and crushes everyone inside of it, from Obi-Wan to Anakin to even Padme. In one of those instances, he goes on to visit his old nemesis and slave owner, Watto. By the time the 2015 comic series started, it showed how bitter Darth Vader was at that point in time. You see, the comic series starts right after the Death Star's destruction, and Sidious is going after his apprentice. As he said it multiple times, Vader was the only one alive to suffer Palpatine's wrath, and this led to Darth Vader creating a schism in between the Empire. Vader now wanted outside of Palpatine's Empire and wanted to create an army and a kingdom of his own. He was tired of serving a master that was not worthy. The path forward was to be forged by Darth Vader himself and that's why he needed riches and an army. To get this, he needed Dr. Aphra by any means, a smooth archaeological criminal who would enter and exit places without being detected. What Vader of course first needed was an army, a secret army that would obey him by any means, and of course this led them to the idea that it had to be droids. Now there were a lot of Federation droids that were deactivated or led astray on Geonosis. The battle between the Republic and the Confederacy was something to behold in Episode 2, but there were a lot of droids that were left untouched, or so they thought. Once they got there, they had to deal with rogue Geonosians as well. The next part was about to be riches. You see, Darth Vader had to amass not only an army, but a GDP, basically, of an entire empire, or at least something that resembles that, and this is where he jumped into action with Afra, stealing countless billions of credits, seizing it from criminals, and from transportation for the empire, together with Afra. It is around that time that he paid a visit to Watto as well. This is the time when he was searching for Dr. Afra. She was a hard person to find, and in order to find her, he had to go to some people that Vader knew they would have information. This was always a question about Vader, about specifically Watto. He got revenge on everybody, but why didn't we ever see Darth Vader go and pay a quote-unquote friendly visit? to our pal Watto. Of course, we all know what Vader would have done. I mean, even in the comics is shown that Vader had no mercy, especially in the new canon versions. To sum it up, basically, in my opinion, he cut all ties and emotions with his former self, Anakin Skywalker. This is the main reason why Obi-Wan hid Luke Skywalker on Tatooine, because he knew Darth Vader would never come back there and visit that horrible place ever again. Vader did everything to forget about that place, let alone he hated sand. But as I said, the 2015 comic series shows the redemption of Darth Vader. He could care less about his past. Not only did he visit Tatooine multiple times, but he even went on to destroy the Tusken Raiders just for fun. His main job serving Palpatine during the Imperial times was to hunt down and eliminate Jedi after Order 66. But after the destruction of the Death Star, everything changed. Darth Vader realized that he had absolutely no future with Palpatine anymore, and that's why he wanted to defect from the Empire as soon as possible and get his own Empire, rule it with an iron fist. Of course, realizing that he had a son Luke Skywalker, this made things a lot more possible in his mind, basically getting his son to be his apprentice and rule the galaxy together. All in all, he could not achieve this without Aphra, without her help and without her alliances in the underworld. Now, the interesting part occurred when finally Darth Vader got to Dr. Aphra and she needed needed saving, of course, since she was in a heap of trouble. Darth Vader, after saving her life and getting on board the Archangel together with Aphra, she was curious as to how Vader found her. At that moment, Vader stood silent and did not respond right away. In fact, he recalled 
how did he find Afra? One of the memories shows Vader invading a cantina, force pushing a barkeep to death and killing the entire cantina and all of the patrons inside. They either gave up the wrong information or the right information and needed to die and not remain a witness. It's all a blur when it comes to Darth Vader pursuing the truth. Then another memory, seemingly on Bespin or somewhere that resembles it, shows Darth Vader pushing off a droid looking like IG-88, pushing him off the balcony and onto destruction after seemingly getting information out of this droid. And finally, another memory comes in what looks completely like Watto. Watto is laying there completely dead, eyes opened and mouth wide in shock and in horror, exactly the way Vader kills his victims. If indeed it is Watto, he looks like he was force choked to death after Vader revealed information after information, probably not only about Aphra, but about much more about Shmi Skywalker and Anakin as well. If you have doubts, similar to my doubts, as well that this may not have been Watto. The writers of these comics are very intentional. They would not have put somebody not only in the species, a Tidarian species of Watto, but dressed exactly like Watto. They would not have put a junk dealer Watto type that resembles Watto so close. They would not have done so on accident. This was done intentional and without mention. They left it up to the fans, and if you leave it up to me, this workshop, this junkyard, and this person definitely resembles Watto. So far, it has not been refuted, and this comic came out in 2015. But Vader simply stands silent after memorizing how he paid a visit to his old friend, Watto how he got this pertinent information, but what do you guys think? In this instance in canon, the only reference we get is from Obi-Wan's ghost who remembers buying a humidifier from Watto during Imperial times, three years into his exile. Other than that, we don't get a reference from Watto during Imperial times, so this, could this have been the end of our favorite junk dealer, Watto? Talk to me down below in the comments, tell me what do you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video though, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.